Welcome back to Man Across New Horizons. I'm Dear Darling, as you'll see what's going on on our lovely island of Ron Hollow today. We'll be relaxing as per usual. Well, hopefully relaxing, or, or you know, and I guess if you're not relaxing, then fair enough. I can't, I can't really control, I suppose, what your relaxing state is or isn't. <laughs> I don't really know where it's going, to be honest, but yeah, um, I don't really know what we're going to talk about today. I don't, I don't have anything particularly in mind. Um, I'm just going to go, like, eat dinner after this. I'm going to go finish a thumbnail art after like after this, I, I don't even remember how far I've gone into uh, doing a final. Uh, let's let's have a let's have a look. See, you know, it's not like a a late night amnesia. I don't remember what time I stopped working on it. You know, it, it wasn't that late. It was probably around like one ish or something. Which is, you know, it's kind of late, but you know, I, I've I've spoken I've spoken about it before, but I don't actually need that much sleep. I think to function. Oh, so okay. I'm about like I've done about a third of a line art, which is actually a lot further than I thought. Good evening, everyone. Right now, in Vaughan Hollow, it's eight nineteen p.m. on Monday, June nineteenth, twenty twenty three. So, uh, this needs to be done by Thursday, well, Wednesday evening, technically, because <laughs> I won't be able to, um, properly coordinate it on Thursday otherwise, but, um, oh, actually, you know, I, I could always shift around, um, some of the episodes. You, you might notice sometimes that, like, like, sometimes there might be three uploads of one episode in, uh, of one series in one week, and that's normally because I didn't finish a thumbnail out in time, and I just shift it around by day. Obviously, I can't do that with Animal Crossing because there's, like, no other series to fill its slot. But <laughs> for the other games, at least, you know, maybe it's a bit more subtle and you don't notice. Or maybe you know the exact schedule of when I upload uh, videos and, you know, you keep track and you're like, Oh, time to watch Dear Darling's video. And you look up and you're like, oh, you know, there's no video today. Well, in which case, I can only apologise where when I fall behind the curve. But, um, you know, it happens. <laughs> what can I say? It looks pretty cute, but I'm not going to lie. Um... Have I said what this next series is? I don't think I've said what this next series is. Um, I guess I'll just leave it a mystery then. Because it's not not until... Um, it's only a couple more days. You can wait till then, I suppose. Uh, what should we talk about? Uh, I guess I'll do, uh, pick a random topic for today. Why not? Because, you know, I don't really have anything particularly in mind. How about newspaper bridges? You might be like, what? <laughs> well, okay, but the way I pick um, conversation topics tends to be I think of something from my childhood or something along that line. So, and I'm just like, okay, let's tell a story about it. And so let's tell a story about this one. Actually, it was actually a straw bridge, technically. But um, so I don't, I don't know if this is something which is necessarily common for all schools, but it's very common, at least in British schools, that you're often in like a physics lesson or like an engineering lesson. Well, engineering is not really a school subject, but normally in physics or like some sort of engineering rec uh enrichment activity you'll do something where you make something out of newspaper i think it's pretty common most of the time you try and make like newspaper bridges or etc etc uh, but i have this memory that um we had a house competition this one time um if you don't know what houses are just think like harry potter houses um yeah they, they, they are a thing in the uk and we're all divided into like our own separate form and it's just like and you have your it's basically just a, a team you you work with to in like a annual competition but anyway, um, most of the competitions ends up being like, there's a lot of sport competitions and it was only like, as I started getting older, there was like more like academic competitions, which I guess is, they were just like, oh, you know, the kids do much so much academics, like in the rest of their life. Anyway, they probably don't want to do an academic competition. No, put more academic competitions in because that was, <laughs> that was my jam, you know, that's what I was good at. Um, so yeah, but anyway, that's not really the point. Um, the point is one of the years, I, oh, what year was I in? I think it must, it must have might have been around GCSE time, I'm not entirely sure. Is that right? So about year 11? Um, I don't remember. It was basically a joint house competition where two people from um, my year, which I'm going to guess was year 11, and two people from year below, which was probably year 10, uh, would team up in, in a team of four and it would be like an engineering competition where they'd have to, where you'd have to do some sort of um you, you didn't know exactly what it was but you would have to do some sort of like engineering thing but you know these sort of projects are always the same sort of thing it's always like make a bridge how much can it hold or like make the tallest tower out of these materials or some something about you know those sort of general things which um, i'm very familiar with because i, I used to run a, a used to be part a hand in running an engineering society after school so we, we organized a lot of those but this was the house competition one and i remember it because um basically what it was it was like you had to make a bridge out of straws um and 
they're not and it had to it had to bridge like a 30 centimeter gap which is like a one foot gap or something which is not too bad normally from like straws because like plastic straws are not uh, usually just kind of around that length anyway uh but the thing is they took the straws and they cut them all up into like thirds so we basically had and they were also the super small thin straws not they weren't the big the big straws uh, i don't even know what the super small thin ones were even were so they're, they're about like a third of a gap or something um for the actual of the actual gap that you had to cross or something like that no maybe slightly over a third i don't i don't remember um anyway they, they were telling uh, they were saying um like what the scoring process would be you would get like you get like a score out of 10 for style you get a score out of 10 for like um some something else functionality and then you would get a score uh based on how much weight it could hold because that was like the main thing it was um it was doing it was like no, it was like 10 for style for uniqueness and 10 for like at how well how much it actually looks like a bridge and then the other one was like it was like you get one one no 0 0.1 for every 100 grams it holds or something like that it, does that make sense no, 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 let me do that math in my head hold on 0 0.1 for every 100 grams it holds so one kilogram would be one so ten, no okay no, that, that's not right it, maybe it was like one for every 100 grams it holds and the assumption is that um oh we need to go get some medicine they, they probably assume that other oh, people won't ever get like more than a kilogram because they'll focus on trying to make a bridge and these are very flimsy straws over a large gap and the way they're connected it's going to be rather difficult to actually hold a lot of weight but i remember you know why we were doing it i was I'm, like looking at the score and being like this seems like really unfairly weighted towards a weight so like if we could um if we could hold a lot of weight, that'd be pretty good. And I remember one of the people who was organising it was in our house and was like, this is a really weird, like, competition. Like, I'm pretty sure you could just build a bridge just by, like, you know, just, like, putting all the, bundling them all together and then just carrying it like that. And then, you know, that was like, hey, we should do that, you know? <laughs> because technically, um, you know, we if we go for a really nice stylistic bridge, we made, like, a Golden Gate Bridge out of straws or something, we're only going to get a max of 20, and that maybe, like, 25 or something, depending on how much it can hold. But if we just make a super awesome bridge, which can hold, like, three kilograms or something, then we're going to, like, max out the score, <laughs> like, to a ridiculous degree. And that's essentially what we did. We, we just took off our straws. It was the least graceful thing ever, and... It, and, you know, your initial instinct might be like, that's not very engineering of you, I suppose, to um, completely just like, <laughs> instead of thinking like, oh, strength in triangles or in arches or something, or like thinking about like pivot points and, you know, and stress points and and, uh, and weak points, I suppose, in the design, um, to instead just like, literally, I, th I think we just sellotaped all the straws together. We like st stuck them in each other to make them long enough to actually bridge a gap and then just like sellotaped it up. So it was just like a big bundle of really tightly packed straws. Um, if anything, I think that is the most engineering thing to be like, hey, this is a, you know, we're building it to the specification. We're maximizing the efficiency of a specification. It's not my fault that your specification is terrible. <laughs> um, so, you know, all, all of these other houses, they come up, they bring up their really awesome bridges. And like one, one of them was actually super impressive. It actually genuinely looked like Golden Gate Bridge uh, made out of shores and obviously got like a 10, like a 20 other thing. And it held like 100 grams before it like keeled over. Um, because they didn't give us a lot of materials to work with. I think uh, we might not even have teletape. It might have literally just been straws. Um, so we didn't even have anything to like fasten them together with. And then we bring we bring ours up like as the last one. <laughs> it's just like, or one of the second last ones or something. And it's just like literally just like a bundle of straws. And then everyone's just like, what is going on? You, just make, <laughs> you didn't even make a bridge. And we put it down. And then it was just like, okay, we've got to make sure we set up the weight the hook weight in a very specific way. And I remember what we did is we stuck the hook up through the middle of all the entire... Of all uh, of all the straws and have it hook on the top. So basically, uh, the hook would be holding on to the entire weight of all the straws rather than just the bottom one or whatever. And then it held like six kilograms or like it held a ridiculous, a ridiculous score that we like tripled everyone else's score <laughs> um, in that house competition, which was most. It was a very stupid thing, but you know, I mean, <laughs> it, it sticks to my mind because it was a very funny moment, you know. And I remember like um. I even remember who was in my team. I remember when I was one of my really good friends who I, you know, I'm still in contact with. It was also the people, I don't actually remember the two people in the year below me, but I remember one person in the year below me. I remember his name still. Because I remember he went to the same university at me, a uh, university as me. And um, he, I remember like he went, because when I did engineering society, it was what we year below. And it, I was in year 13, he was in year 12. And I just remember thinking like, this, this kid's like really clever. He's gonna, he's gonna do pretty well. Um, 
but yeah anyway that, that, that's not like house competition sticks in my mind i suppose so to really sort of analyze the scoring potential i suppose on how these things go you know well there certainly is um an expected route or expected solution i think for a lot of these problems which are procured um a lot of the times you know you might get better efficiency from just doing what seems like the stupid you know solution in the first place it's very it's very much i suppose a sort of um a story and anecdote which is the epitome of work smarter not harder <laughs> to a certain degree because we didn't really do anything the only thing i remember afterwards it was like oh we had to, we had to take the weights back to the physics um the physics room and i remember holding it and it was like 20 kilograms just like in this <laughs> like red um what, what are they called like uh, pull out drawer was that sort of thing and i remember my arms were absolutely dead after i brought it back because it was like halfway across the school uh, to bring the entire stuff back <laughs> i don't know why i know why i held it necessarily but whatever i just remember that happening anyway a lot of newspaper bridges that, that, that's something we did a lot in engineering society uh, which was something I, I did in year 12 so it'd be just before i went off to university so i'd be like 17 I think at the time 16 to 17 year olds and is run by 17 to 18 year olds and it was basically I, I remember the, the year we were doing it it was basically like every single time was every single time was almost always hey we got to make something out of newspapers because you know I, I don't know that, that, that was all they came up with <laughs> which I'm not saying is necessarily bad but um but that's all I remember um but I remember um the, to be fair, they actually, did, they actually did get like presents and stuff and gifts and, stuff, and we, you know, we, we didn't win every single time, but we won a lot of the times. Uh, one of the times, actually, I remember, it was a marble run as well. We had to make things go for, we, we had to make, was that like the longest marble run or it had to go for the longest time? I can't remember. And I, I remember we made one and it like, it was def definitely like the one that st st stuck to the specification and worked but then another group did one which was basically just like a jump and they, were, they they basically spent the entire time arguing that a marble run didn't have to be like a continuous run of tubes or that sort of thing and, you know and a jump at the end it should count to the maximum distance that the marble rolled for um at the time obviously i was just like no <laughs> it doesn't make any sense but looking back i'm like oh, i don't really care <laughs> to be perfectly honest that's a very funny justification isn't it it's very sort of like taskmaster as justification whereas it's like hey, hey you know technically you didn't say this actually um you should have been more specific with the rules where you know if I, if it was something which actually mattered i'd be like no you're disqualified you're wrong but it's, it's obviously something which is just like a recreational bit of fun you know and good on them for exercising i suppose much more creative as problem solving but then there was just like but they did that and they also like garnered out not bribed but like um it's not bribed or begged but like sweet talked their way into getting more points for like style and other like creativity or something like that so then they ended up winning and i remember talking to one of the leaders afterwards being like hey you know that was kind of like weird wasn't it <laughs> like it kind of feels like we got a bit robbed and then i remember what he said it was just like okay it's because uh, and he said something along the lines that we were like told that you know you, you lot can't win every single time you know it's, let other people have a chance at winning and then i remember that very clearly in my mind because you know in the moment like my initial reaction was like no why <laughs> if we did it better we should but then i think about it more and i'm like yeah okay in certain things i think that is true you know the, the validity of a competition does matter but a lot of times in competition you know it, it's about the sportsmanship you know we, we you got to think about why the competition is even happening in the first place and doubly so for this one it, it's basically all in good fun it's basically spurning the thought of creative and engagement and learning if one group wins every single time it's not particularly engaging isn't it you know let other people have a the chance of victory you let other people do something creative and then be rewarded for it right in the first place so looking back on it yeah you know don't don't give us those like i don't even care we got it was like it was like a pack of starbursts or something like i, I don't even care about those sweets in the first place but whoa i didn't realize that you actually had um specific um dialogue options when it's raining and we walk inside that's pretty cool i don't know how i've never realized um, but yeah, that sticks my mind. What other sort of things have we done? Like uh, like um, a bridge, of <laughs> a straw bridge. You know, what, what, if, I, if I'm going to call this episode title straw bridge, it's going to kind of sound like um, a Three Little Pigs, not analogy, but like story, you know. I built a bridge out of straw. I remember the wolf came and huffed and puffed and blew it all down. I built a bridge out of wood, which is, to be fair, a pretty reasonable thing to bring build uh, a bridge out of straw. Just insanity. Why would you ever build a bridge out of straw? Wood, pretty reasonable. Bricks, yeah, I mean, it's also pretty reasonable. M must take forever though. 
if, if you were to extend with three little pigs and maybe it was like the eight little pigs or something what, what what do you think would be after like bricks and stuff i guess metal would probably be like after bricks you know you know someone like a welding a metal house and probably you you would have to do things earlier it's do things like before straw like maybe you had like an, another pig before straw who made his, his house out like out of paper or something <laughs> um i don't know let's get what, what's like stronger than metal i don't know like he, he carved it into a cave <laughs> it doesn't really make sense because once you get like rock I and mean, then you get I mean, that's what, like kind of what bricks are a rock and then metal and then like what's above metal i don't really know to be honest just more types of metal diamond a little bit excessive and a little bit extravagant i think to make an entire house out of diamond that's something that probably someone's probably done and that actually now you mention it when's my writing group meeting up again <laughs> i haven't like done anything related to it oh what is this what is going on there's actually a message in here okay when, when's this happening 29th of june oh it's actually next week okay what's the, what's the prompts what's the prompts this time maybe i can uh, th think about um an idea if it's actually something i need to turn over in my mind no normally before i go to sleep i actually start like thinking about um story ideas and what i'm gonna do i haven't been doing that recently been too busy i suppose abandoned happiness and flowers okay hmm well immediately a visual came to mind but that's not really a story i suppose um yeah anyway i don't know what i was gonna talk about uh, let's go do some of these Nook Mount missions, I think, in these five, final few minutes. And then I'm going to go eat dinner. And then I'm going to go... I don't know, do I need to record more episodes of things? Have I done the titles? I I'm trying to do titles of episodes as I... As I uh, go along. Nowadays, because it makes it significantly easier. Apparently I just gained three subscribers out of nowhere, I don't know. Because um, I remember yesterday I was looking and I was like, Ooh, I have 480 subscribers, what a nice round number. Almost at 500, which is weird to think about. You know, like how did this happen? Who knows? But yes, and I do have all the videos uploaded. Okay, I, I do need to actually start recording a backlog, which <laughs> which is... I don't know, I guess, I guess I could do a backlog, a bit of a backlog today, I'm not really sure. T U B H. Um, yeah, I guess I kind of need to at some point. The thing is, the unpacking series, I have a feeling it's not, it's going to finish in the middle of July, which is going to be a bit of a problem because I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do if it finishes in the middle of July. Actually, I do know what I can do. I, I did think about this, Preston. And the game which is going to be following on from unpacking has a super, super simple thumbnail art. Um, so it shouldn't take that long. I actually forgot. I thought, I, I thought about that, Preston, in the first place. Um, where, where am I going? Uh, we're we're going to go sell fruits and seashells and also pick up these weeds. But anyway, yeah, like strawbridge. Um, what other sort of things have we done before? Like, um, the, the, what other days we had as like an enrichment day uh, back in school? Enrichment day is basically like a day where you don't do traditional lessons. You do like fun stuff usually. Sometimes you'll go, it'll be like a school trip or sometimes it'll be something inside the school and you'll do whatever. I remember one of them was a maths based one and it was basically the only maths based enrichment day, I think. Of my entire school career because you know math maths kind of gets like the short end of a stick when it comes to doing fun activities i'm not gonna lie you know all these humanity students going off to different countries and and whatnot and being like oh look at like a um you know studying stuff like yeah it makes sense and what have you but you know we didn't get to do that maths we didn't get to like go to france and go to like the birthplace of i don't know pascal or something um we, we just we just had like extra maths like fun maths lectures and workshops to go to <laughs> Which, yes, I, I did go to, like, every single one of them because, I mean, unsurprisingly, the teachers sort of just be like, hey, you know, these opportunities, we'll, we'll give them to people who either really like maths or who are pretty good at maths. And I was both. So, unsurprisingly, I went to a lot of math workshops when I was younger. I suppose I should talk about that someday. Because, <laughs> genuinely, they are actually quite interesting, you know. And it's a shame that they weren't um, open to more people because some, some of them were really good. Like, there was one I remember about um i can't remember what his name is but for some reason in my mind his name is like colin firth or someone like that where he did one about juggling of the mathematics behind juggling and it was actually super interesting and probably would be interesting even if you weren't right into maths or maybe not i don't know hello sahara i actually kind of forgot you were here today is that rainbow stag go away be free my friend be water my friend one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay okay we've got enough let's go sell this stuff and get some of the missions um 
But in one of the maths days, we had the maths enrichment days, we had one of the, the things we had to do, we had to do like eight different activities around the school. One of them we had to do was make a newspaper tower, a, a tall newspaper tower. And I remember the, per the, the maths teacher who ran that was actually like one of the only maths teachers I didn't like. I don't, I don't know why, we just like didn't gel or something. I just got vibes that he did not like me and I have no idea why because he never taught me or anything. I didn't even know who he was. I and mean, then just immediately like we had like a conversation. And my vibes was like, why do you not like me? <laughs> it's just, it felt really weird. And it's not even like a paranoid sort of thing. I don't, I don't assume that from most people. I assume most people have no opinion on me, I suppose. Um, but it, it was such a weird vibe. Anyway, he, he left for school like a year later. So didn't really have to interact with him all that much. <laughs> anyway, he, he ran that. Um, but we, we got a pretty tall newspaper tower. I remember that. And I remember one thing, which I accidentally did, was like, he, we, we were like, he was measuring it with a tape measure because we were like, hey, come measure, we, we done it, that sort of thing. I and mean, then it started falling over. And I was the one holding uh, the tape measure at the bottom and I instinctively let go to try and catch the tower. And then I was just like, oh, I'm sorry. And then he just like looked at me and went, ow, <laughs> in a really sarcastic, sad one voice. And I was like, all right. I didn't say that. But, you know, looking back and I'm like, all right, you know. I apologize. And I apologize, you know, you don't need to be so sarcastic about it at the same time. But at the same time, I also don't blame you, I suppose, because it probably did hurt a little bit. But also, if, if it did hurt, I suppose, how are you holding with tape measure? <laughs> to be perfectly honest, you're not meant to be holding it such that your fingers are going to get snapped in the way of the actual tape itself. You can just hold it by, like, its casing. That's what it's there for. Unless you're saying the vibrations of it snapping into the tape measure itself hurt, in which case, I'm, I'm going to be honest. You, you can handle it. <laughs> Mr... I'm not going to say his name, obviously. That's not, like, air out dirty laundry. But I, I still remember that moment. Because I was just like, it's, why? Because the rest of the maths department were lovely. Anyway, but that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to round this episode up here. So, if you haven't been watching, thank you very much. This has been Animal Crossing New Horizons. I've been Dear Darling. Likes, comments, discussion, shares. Greatly appreciated. Twitter, Discord down below. Hope to see each other again. But for now, it's our farewell. So until next time, bye-bye for now. <laughs>